Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm behind the camera again, and it's actually a really good feeling to be at home filming again. I haven't really filmed a video, like a, a serious video about being at home or at home in a while since COVID, I think, maybe. I don't know, it's been a minute. Not COVID, but sometime around there, a couple years ago. Uh, but today I got my Midori notebook. Uh, this it does not come like this. I've made this stamp on here, so if you see it online, uh, this stamp is something I did on here for myself because I like this anime. It's pretty cool. But this is the Midori. Uh, it is a blank notebook, um, as you can see, and it does come with a ribbon, which I like about it. Um, I kind of have a few complaints about like notebooks in general, not just this one in particular, but just like with notebooks, um, that don't come with ribbons, the Galen leather notebook doesn't come with a ribbon and that's kind of annoying. This one does, but it doesn't come with a pocket in the back. So, I mean, everything has its trade-offs, I guess. So I've learned to live with it or live without it in some cases. Um, uh, but I mainly use this notebook as a... I would say sort of a commonplace notebook um, and kind of like just putting all the things that I need, like writing down like my schedule and like what I have to do, like to do lists and things like that. It replaced my Rhodia notebook um, that I, you know, was near and dear to my heart. And I purchased this particular one and this stamp and ink from JetPens. Um, the Midori notebook also comes with, it doesn't come with a clear cover, I mean, but you can buy one. Uh, they're like $5. And I personally think it's a good investment to get one simply because it gets dirty, uh, as you can see right here. It gets really dirty on it. And if you plan on using Midori notebooks, which I do, uh, I'm probably going to get one so that when I'm done with the notebook, I can just take the cover off and sit this in storage and, you know, put the new one back on. Uh, but as far as like paper goes, um, the paper quality is really good. It comes with like a sticker on here too, uh, so you can so you can say when you started and finished in the volume and fin you know all that stuff. Um, and you know you can write your name in it, and it's MD notebook made in Japan. So it comes with that. Um, the paper quality is great on it. I have a page on here, yeah, so this is the page that like I you can see um don't look at those numbers. you can see this right here, and you can see where like I scribbled a lot, I filled in a lot of ink on that, and then like on that back page, like you see like it bled through a little bit right there, uh, but that's really it, and this was pretty much like my schedule for my first day of work um and i I use for the ink for the ink test this was a broad nib and it was for my um what pen was that the twisby vac 700 with the imperial purple and most of what's in here if not all other than like that particular spot and like a few red color a few red uh spots was all written it's majority written with the pilot uh what is it custom heritage 92 it's a mouthful, and it's in. I think that nib is like a soft fine. The don't mind the dogs barking. The Amazon guy's delivering a package, so trust me, he's not as intimidating or as big as he sounds. I'll tr just trust me on that. <laughs> but anyways. I use majority of the pen that I use on here was the uh, like I was saying the Pilot Custom Heritage 92 in a soft fine nib with the Dima Oxford Blue. Um, it's one of my favorite pens that I've used um, a lot. I use it a lot, like nearly every day. Um, I haven't written in here today. I actually hadn't journaled in a while, like all week last week, which is kind of weird for me. But I need to write down what I have to do. But as far as like the paper goes, um, I want to say it feels like something like a like a 68 gram Toma River paper. That's like the feel of it in the hand. Like it's kind of like that type of 
that weight i'm not sure exactly what the weight of the paper is because it doesn't tell you like everywhere i looked at it like it, it doesn't tell you the exact weight of the paper but either way it's a really good paper um i think that not having a lot of specs and not having a lot of things to nerd out on kind of helps me out in a sense to just you know to just sit down and just write in the notebook um uh so yeah it does have 176 pages in it uh, which is a good thing. Um, it's not super huge, uh, which is I think is cool too, because I have, like I said, I have a Toma River notebook and I have a um, Galen Leather, and those have four hundred, like three ninety six or four hundred pages, and it's a lot. It's kind of it's really thick. It's like double this size, and it's kind of it's kind of crazy like to think about it now that like that's how that is. Uh, but yeah, this notebook I like it a lot. Um, I will I will say again, recommend getting the um clear cover for it because it does get dirty i mean it's white or cream but yeah and also too um i noticed that like uh you don't really get to choose the color of your ribbon i don't think it really matters i kind of just whatever they sent me is whatever they sent me um but other than that like it's really cool so if you're in the market for a midori notebook then you should do it it's perfect